Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And today we're jumping into the world of Baddies East. Guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back, Pooh. So it looks like the Baddies franchise has dripped out into the world. And it isn't being received the way Natalie wants it to be received. So Natalie was out at DC, y'all. In the DC nightclub park, they turned away Natalie. They said, we are not interested in you or your and your crew. Now, listen, Natalie said they took my reservation. But when we arrived, they said they didn't want anything to do with us. Natalie is trying to call out the restaurant. Talking about because they didn't want to accept her and her business because it's black owned. And she a black owned network girl, please. You think we was going to fall for that? Listen to her language in this clip, y'all. She talking about how American Express was on file. They said they don't support her or her black-owned network. I don't believe they said that. Of course, I don't know. But in the video, she begs for the um, public to let her know who the owners are, and they do. We're going to get into the comment section. Mind you, she said it's not black-owned. According to the comments, they saying Park Out DC is owned by two black men. Y'all get into this clip, and we're going to be right back. Said anyone that's affiliated with the Zeus Network, we don't care. We don't like what you guys represent. We don't like your TV shows. I gave them my American Express card on file earlier to book a table. They said I could not come in because they don't like the black network that I work for. Who is the owner? Because he's not black, I promise. Girl, whole time they saying the owner of Park is black. Look, people don't want that foolishness. The caption says, oop, Natalie Nunn calls out a D.C. restaurant for refusing to serve her and the baddies. Anyone affiliated with the Zeus Network, we don't like what you guys represent. Natalie can't get mad at these businesses for not wanting to be a part of that mess. Now, y'all know Natalie has responded, and so has the fans. They not falling with this foolishness. It's like you gaslight people on your show. You're not going to be able to guess like people in real life y'all get into this tea so after that was put out natalie responded to the comment saying there was three people with me and we were not on a ratchet foolishness i absolutely know how to act i was not with any of the baddies they accepted my card see my name on a reservation she said they was dead wrong period Y'all, the fans are going in on her right under her own comment. They said they don't have to serve you. They know what you represent. Mm -hmm. Someone said you are a liability. Even though you may know how to act off camera, that doesn't mean the outside don't view you in that light, period. Somebody said, girl, please. Somebody else said, big facts. Somebody else said, they just watch your show, so they assume you turned up 24-7. They still don't want to serve you, and that's classless beast you run with mm. they said lawsuit denied because she gonna talk about she filing a lawsuit they said girl don't matter who you are with don't matter they know birds of a feather flock together period shout out to the plainest jane baddies is literally a traveling boxing ring with cameras i wouldn't want them rumbling and disturbing my cool oblivious to their own behavior and solidified marketing strategy period somebody else said y'all won't be throwing drinks and standing on tables in this establishment somebody else said i'm from dc and i love park it's a very black club them denying entry has nothing to do with race trust me i know we know y'all what anthony say anthony said they have the right to refuse you for any reason mr chen uh-uh y'all need to stop Don't blame them stand on business go <laughs> somebody said go eat at the local zoo they said at the concession stand stop not them standing up at the booths eating i'm done i doubt that they said black network but any establishment has the right to refuse service and if I was them, I wouldn't want y'all coming and fighting and being loud and tearing up my establishment either. Somebody said, stand doing business at Park. Why y'all tagging them? They so funny. They said, we never canceling Park, period. Natalie better slow down and Natalie better pay attention, y'all. Mm-hmm. She better pay attention to this wave of change. She made a post in a general public jumping on her like this. Ooh, 
Natalie. Natalie, I don't think you should do this live audiences. <laughs> Listen to your homegirl. Somebody else said, um, at Park is black owned by two black men. It is an upscale establishment, though I'm sure that they decline your interest. Highly doubt they said anything pertaining to it being a black owned network. All the managers are black. All the employees are black. So this is insane. I just hope she is being honest. Because in my experience, they sound and cameras are super clear and picks up. Everything don't want to have a defamation lawsuit at Natalie Nine. period. This man speaking facts. But let's look at Park's Instagram. I want to see what the Instagram giving up. Okay, so we are on their page. And they're definitely giving lit. They're definitely giving black owned. Okay, Park. Okay. Representative of the peoples. Look at Quicksilver. That's silver. That's quick. Yeah, we know quick up here in Baltimore. Uh-huh. It's quick. Uh-huh. That's, how, yeah. <laughs> That's how they be. Okay. Well, Natalie, the peoples have spoken. It's the peoples. And, girl, they didn't spoke up. Natalie, it looks like, well, the people not on your side. They say they would have turned it down, too, Pooh. They said you got to go somewhere else. Somebody recommended the D.C. Zoo. They said they seed anyone, girl. You said it was just me and three other people. Well, hopefully, you know, it's enough room at the, you know, penguin wing of the zoo. You know, y'all could take a seat over there or you can walk around the Flamingo Garden. I heard that's beautiful. But you know what? Since the garden's around there, don't get too close. You know, we bite back. Yes! But y'all get into this tea. Let me know what y'all think. Are y'all shocked to hear that the girls are now being turned away from businesses and establishments? Ain't that something? Turned away. But Natalie is wow. These people ain't no fool. These people see it like we do, Pooh. How do people see it? They how they see it. You know what I'm <laughs> I'm just surprised that the general public is feeling how Zeus fans feel. Now that's a tough spot to be in, Natalie. How do Zeus fans clearing you and the general public? Child, let me get up off this app. Y'all watch your homegirl back. The tea is getting real. Y'all stay locked to the channel because I will keep you up to date with all the latest tea. And remember this, do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Before we go, let's look up. Let's Google it real quick. Who are the owners of Park out D.C.? Let's get into the tea. Okay, so according to the Google, it says, who owned Park DC? It says, for more than 20 years, Mark Barnes upscale, um, oh, Mark Barnes upscale DC nightclub has been the center of party life in Washington region, where such celebrities as Beyonce and Chris Brown have stopped by to perform and politicians, including Bill Clinton, have made cameos. It says, Mark Barnes. Let's see who he is. Let's get into his tea. Let me see what Mark giving up. What's going on, Mark? So that's what they're saying. This Mark, the owner of the, what is that? Park, Washington, D.C. What is Natalie doing around here? Betty's East already filmed. Girl, bye. Mm -mm. And you know what's crazy? A lot of people I'm cool with was enjoying Natalie for bringing money to the city. Because, you know, even though the auditions was a bust and stuff like that, a lot of businesses thrived. So we was glad she was filming this area. But, girl, you ain't going to trash our area out. We already off the chain. Okay, so I looked up some more images. So it's looking like this is um Mark, if you guys are interested Type of backing, you know what I'm saying? They saying he black owned. What's his name? Mark. Mark. What you guys say about this Natalie situation? Let it be known in that comment section below. Oh yeah, Mark looked like he on play. He with the legends up in the camp. Yeah, he ain't with it, Nat. He ain't with it, Nat. I already know he ain't with the shenanigans. I can look at them. They ain't with your shenanigans, Nat. Even though you talking about we coin, they had my American Express on file. Girl, please. That company cleared you. But like I said, y'all, stay locked to the channel. And I keep you up with the latest. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.